Good morning, everyone. We're going to talk about the Enterprise IQ Preventive Maintenance Module this morning. Um, I'm going to go through a PowerPoint of the, of the kind of describing the system to make sure I don't miss any important points. And then I will go into the software, um, poke around a little bit, show you a few things, um, show how the system works together. And then also at the end we'll have a question and answer, so I'll take it off presentation mode and we'll have question and answer session at the end. So the Enterprise IQ Preventive Maintenance Mode, it's part of the single database system, so it does share all the information um, with the rest of the program. So work centers that you entered um, through the work center module, tools through the bill of material, all that stuff is going to share gauges that are in the quality module. All that stuff can be linked together. Um, so the overview of the module, um, is PM module assists greatly in implementing a complete maintenance program. So you can hook a lot of things into the maintenance module, work centers, tools, dies, auxiliary equipment, gauges, buildings, etc. Anything you want to set up and track through preventive maintenance, and that means creating work orders, it means um, tracking costs associated with the maintenance, it, tracking labor, scheduling labor, that kind of stuff can all be done through the preventive maintenance module. So by obviously doing maintenance, you help to prolong and protect your equipment. And then part of that is that we will also, and I'll probably mention this a hundred times through this thing, um, one of the things that you can do with the module is set it up where you're doing in maintenance intervals on cycles or feet on tools or dies, hours, feet, cycles on work centers. And for that type of equipment that's hooked in and you, you're doing production reporting against that equipment when you report how much you made and how long it ran and how many cycles you had or how many feet ran past the die, we're going to be able to capture that information in the production reporting module and as you archive that, that's going to automatically update the maintenance intervals for your material or your equipment usage. So we'll keep track of the actual usage and not just doing a daily PM, so every 90 days I need to change the oil in this work center or every 90 days I need to clean the tool. Um, we're actually going to keep track of equipment usage. You can do daily for other things that we don't actually track a usage against and then it'll just say, oh it's been 90 days since you uh, swept the parking lot and you'll create a work order for that. Um, so it also gives you visibility to down work centers and out of service tools. So in the finite scheduling tool you can actually schedule preventive maintenance work orders and for the tooling, you can actually set out-of-service date ranges with reason codes as to why they're out of service. So if somebody moves a work order or a production order into the finite schedule tool in a time interval where that tool is out of service, we're going to put a graphical flag on the, the scheduling tool to let them know that. And then as they drag and drop that tool back into an interval where the tool is available, then it'll actually go back to being it, unflagging it, which is kind of nice. Um, increases the accuracy of equipment maintenance and cost information. So you link to accounting and fi fixed assets, but as you consume materials and you consume labor to actually do the maintenance, we can keep track of those hours and rates from the people that are doing the maintenance. And as we consume inventory for the maintenance, we'll back flush that out of inventory and actually associate a cost to the maintenance. Uh, better planning of tools in the future. Um, one of the things you can you can capture information based on actual usage or time passed since you've done the last PM, but you can also schedule maintenance work orders in the future. So if you every Monday morning somebody just walks through and checks the ventilation system, you can create a work order for doing that, and then you say, okay, every Monday morning at nine for the next 52 weeks we're going to do that. You can actually go in and set up and do that. So you've got 52 work orders waiting out there to be executed.